see how he's walking. So they're, very, they're, they're jumpers, but they're also very good at climbing. You can kind of see they're very methodical in, the, in their movements. They, uh... When people visit the Smithsonian National Zoo's Amazonia exhibit, they look at animals like the lemur leaf frog. But behind the scenes, biologists like Matt Evans and others are in a race against time. Frogs and other amphibians in Panama are in danger of extinction from a killer fungus known as chytrid. Amphibian chytrid, or, or commonly uh, we'll call it uh, BD, it gets onto their skin um, through the water or damp soil. Eventually, it'll lead to cardiac arrest. We know that there are over 6,000 species of amphibian. Um, and to have one third be threatened with extinction, there's a huge role that, that would play. Yeah, amphibians in general play a huge role in predator and prey, prey relationships as far as the food web goes. But there are also uh, a lot of direct correlations and impacts to humans, um, pharmaceutically, and, uh, and just basically um, as, as pest management. Kitchard has devastated amphibians worldwide. It's not clear where the deadly fungus comes from, but one theory is that the African clawed frog, who is resistant to the fungus, may be the source. The African clawed frog was used widely in laboratories, in universities and hospitals for research and, uh, as a matter of fact, in, for pregnancy testing uh, for many, many years. Frogs are, are interesting simply because uh, reptiles and amphibians are so closely attached to their environment. Um, Panamanian golden frogs are now believed to be extinct in the wild. In eastern Panama, a place not yet hit hard by chytrid, biologists are hoping to save other amphibians from the same fate. It automatically basically wipes out initially 40 to 50 percent of the amphibian biodiversity um, when, it, when it comes into an area. Some researchers decided we're going to start to get involved in um, conservation. Bring frogs into captivity, let's start some assurance colonies, let's learn more about the fungus. Through the Panama Amphibian Rescue and Conservation Project, they hope to take field research and develop a defense for the frogs. But it's not easy. Matt says the lack of supplies, electricity, and water make the conditions of transporting the frogs difficult. Once captured, the frogs are placed in containers and taken to safe havens in Summit Municipal Park in the El Valle Amphibian Conservation Center. In the wild, frogs are tested for chytrid, as shown in this video. When a frog is dead, the frog will look normal. One way that the frog will actually try to uh, to rectify what's going on with his body, it'll it'll shed its skin excessively. So you'll see sometimes some loose skin, some shedding skin. Sometimes you'll see lesions on the on the toe pads. So in captivity, we actually do have a treatment um, to actually cure frogs from chytrid fungus. We can basically give them uh, a bath with an antifungal component, um, very similar to what's in athlete's foot spray. But Matt says so far the cure only works for captive amphibians. So right now, if you remove chytrid off of the frogs and put them back in the wild, they will get reinfected again. That leaves species like the Panamanian golden frog in bad shape. As biologists research a cure for chytrid, Panamanian golden frogs are bred in captivity in hopes that they can be reintroduced to the wild in the future. The likelihood of more amphibians facing extinction is a sobering reality for Matt and biologists at the Smithsonian National Zoo. We know it spreads approximately 22 kilometers per year. Right now, it seems like when amphibian kitchen moves into an area, it stays. The solution is going to have to be something that the frogs can maintain on their skin, pass on from generation to generation, where it can keep the spores of the fungus down to levels that are not lethal. You just kind of see, I'm looking at this guy, just how delicate they are. 